Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be our second Blender tutorial. Please visit us on the web at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. We're going to go over some of the menus and just how you navigate around throughout Blender. If you already are real familiar with how to navigate through Blender, you can go ahead and skip this and move ahead to a further, uh, more advanced lesson. So um, let's get started. Now you notice here with the way I have Blender set up, it probably looks a little bit different than what yours looks like right out of the box. You can see that I have the uh, different views here. They all do look the same as far as these three and this one, but they are somewhat different. This one and this one are actually the same. These are both front uh, views, and here is a right view and a top view. This is the user perspective, which can be adjusted uh, and changed for whatever the user wants it to be. Uh, so, you know, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up your Blender interface to look just like mine. So I'm going to cut to another screen now with uh, the way it would look more or less out of the box. Alright, here we are. Uh, all we've got here is just this top orthopedic view. So what we're going to do now is create these additional windows. So all we need to do is go over here to the very right of the screen and right click and you'll see you have an option for split area click there now see what that did was it split our area into two separate areas and now you can manipulate both these windows individually but actually I wanted to split it vertically so let me uh, show you how to undo this and then we'll split it vertically. See here where we got the double headed arrow here in the middle. Right click, go to join areas and it gives you an option to decide which side you want to join to. Doesn't matter because they're both the same in this instance. Okay and now let's split vertically. Go up here to the top where you get the double headed arrow. Right click, split area. Now you can choose where that line is going to be. Now I want to do it again. Oops, not on that side. Let's do it over here. Split area. Okay, now I have my four boxes over here. I want actually I want one more area over here. So I'm gonna go over here to split area. On the bottom, not the top. Now I need to do it again for this one. Now I'm gonna join these two. Now I have okay. Now I have the right amount of windows. Get them sized out the way I kind of like it. Okay, now for this area over here, I'm going to change the entire window type. I don't want it to be a view type as, a, as in like viewing the uh, a perspective of the image here. I want to go down to this, this uh, menu here and go up to Outliner, which gives us the different parts of our scene. Now in this area, I want to zoom in a little bit, and let's make this the front ortho. The way we're going to do that is go to View, Front. Let's make this one the uh, View, Side. Zoom in. View, it's already on top. We'll zoom in a little bit and do this one view user and we can just adjust that however we want it to be and there we go more or less this is how my screen is set up so for future tutorials you will have your screen set up exactly the same as mine if you wish if not you don't have to it's up to you but now uh, this will uh, avoid me getting a lot of emails on how to set up your screen exactly like mine 
because I know that that's something that a lot of uh, new users might want to do. So uh, that, that's going to be about all the time we're going to have for this video. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Here at the end of our video, I'm going to go ahead and indulge in a little bit of shameless self-promotion. And then we're going to talk about some new things that are available on Learn Digital Design. First of all, down at the bottom of the main index part of the site, you can see that there are site updates now that are updated whenever we add something new to the site, including blogs, um, new videos, or just announcements. And uh, what we're really proud of here, that we have just about got ready here, is uh, the forum section of our site. You can click here at forums. And now we've got an area down here where we have all these different uh, forum areas that you can go to and you can uh, introduce yourself. You can talk about Inkscape, GIMP, Blender, other open source design software or even proprietary software if you wish. And uh, you know this is just a nice community area that we're putting together where all digital designers can come together and discuss whatever they want about digital design. And uh, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.